Yeah, so we launched Uber Advertising uh, last year. Uh, and if you think about Uber Advertising, on the one hand, we have the opportunity on the mobility side to enable advertisers to gauge with our riders. So imagine that you are in a car, maybe here in Vegas, on the way to the convention center, right? And you are in the car for about 15 minutes, and as an advertiser, you can own the entire trip. And you can tell a story um, to the rider, right? You might want to get a new um, handbag when you're uh, here in Las Vegas, right? Or whatever it might be. And so we have a tremendous amount of data about our um, riders, who they are, where they're going to, what they eventually eat, and also what they may get on our um, delivery platform. And we can use that then to target advertising uh, in, the, in the rider app. Um, that's a business where we have right now about uh, 125 million active users already. We have about uh, 2 billion uh, quarterly trips and the business is already live in, in about 30, 30 markets. And that's just the mobility side, right? And then we have Uber Eats. Uh, and in this case, we um, enable um, yeah, restaurants, right? Uh, to get more um, orders from our platform. Because quite likely, Joanna, you do not know what you would like to eat tonight. You might be hungry, you might be starving, but you don't know what to eat, right? And so that's the opportunity for our restaurants to then influence you and then you might order a vegan dish tonight or whatever it might be, right? And then last but not least, as we're expanding into uh, delivering more than just uh, dinners and lunches, but everything starting from pampers and alcohol, right? We now also offer CPG advertisers to engage in a moment where you make this decision on our platform what you're going to get through Uber delivery. So talk, can you talk a little bit about some of the ex ad experiences themselves that yeah. you're excited about? Yeah, so imagine again, you are leaving the airport, right? You're getting into the car and then there's silence, right? You have 20 minutes uninterrupted kind of attention from an advertiser perspective. And so if you are basically opening the mobility app um, and you order an Uber, that's the first opportunity for us to engage with the rider. Then when you're waiting for the uh, car to pick you up, that's the second opportunity. And then eventually when you're actually in the car. The great thing about our um, ads are that they are highly um, engaging. We have about a 3% click-through rate we have uh, about two minutes, not two seconds, attention on the ad, which means avatars can really tell a long story, right? Again, while you're on the ride to your destination. Um, so let me give you an example, right? You might be um, back in New York on the way to, let's say, a Walmart, yeah? And we can then now enable Procter & Gamble to show you an ad while you're on the way to Walmart, which means we can influence not only your online behavior, but actually what you're going to buy in a brick and mortar store which is super powerful and quite unique. So, um, how does video fit in? I think this is a sort of a newer area for you. Yeah. Video is very emotive, obviously. That's a great way to go deeper yeah. uh, with the consumer. So we started with display, right? Um, and now we are basically expanding in, in two ways. The first one is from the screen size itself. I started to say that it's a, a mobility app. We are now expanding into tablets, bigger screens in cars, right? Uh, real estate, which is really kind of uh, prominent in the car. Uh, and that's the opportunity for us to also introduce video advertising, right? And here we cannot only show you a short form video clip a few seconds. Again, we have 20 minutes. So we can now really show uh, a, long, uh, a long form video advertising which are targeted uh, to the rider uh, in our tablet. The tablet business itself is, is going to be launched uh, uh, in January here in, in LA and in San Francisco. And then we are rolling out into more and more um, cities in the US and then eventually um, globally. So what has the sort of buy side response been yeah. to Uber in the advertising business and what you're bringing to the table? Uh, it has been really, really fantastic, right? So, uh, because, I mean, CS is all about innovation, right? And, and advertisers are looking for new innovation. Our industry, don't get me wrong, has been a little bit boring over the last couple of years, right? All the money went to the big uh, wall gardens and there was no innovation. And so they're really leaning into a, a new global platform who's really super innovative. And so we have had a lot of conversation here at, at CES, uh, agencies and advertisers both, right, uh, who are really leaning into, we have a lot of campaigns running right now, something like 70 campaigns in parallel. So avatars are really, really leaning into it. It's, it's really, really super exciting. And I think it's just the starting point, right? Mobility media, as I call it, right, uh, is, is, a, is a new category. So we learn together, right? What targeting does work? How do we measure success? Attention is a big topic, right, uh, for us. And so together with our avatars, we are kind of, yeah, innovating, exploring this new opportunity, which is super exciting.
Yeah, maybe the other area which I think we, we shouldn't kind of uh, underestimate is really the, the power of our retail media pieces as well. Yeah? As I mentioned, uh, it's, it's a big opportunity for us. It is in 30 markets. Uh, we have um, almost 250,000 avatars already in the platform. Um, we have almost half a billion in revenues already, right? It's a huge, huge business. Uh, and again, it's here the opportunity where we have first party data, we have uh, the moment where people make a buying decision, and we can also provide uh, close to attribution back to our avatars because we know whether an order has happened on the platform, right? And as we're expanding that into not only delivering food, but also uh, anything on our platform, uh, that is super, super exciting, especially for our CBG advertisers. Yeah? And that's kind of the second big area, in addition to mobility, that we are really, really super excited about. So one last question on that. Do you, do you find that advertisers are coming to you to, as sort of a direct response play? Or do you see them sort of expanding the way that they think about the opportunity to be yeah. sort of mid and upper funnel as well? Yeah, indeed. So typically what happens is that on the, on the delivery side of Eats, it's, where, it's, it's really a performance play. It's about incremental ROAS. But what advertisers then, then start to learn is that mobility helps them to create awareness. And so we have more and more campaigns who start on the mobility side and then actually move riders, traffic, into Uber Eats, where then a transaction actually happens. And so we really have the opportunity to provide a, a full funnel advertising solution for our advertisers across mobility and then deliver. And certainly moving into video advertising is And then video house is creating story. awareness, right? Uh, and then you move it, yeah, you can really move them down to the funnel, sorting video, then display, and then more transaction-based, spawner listings products on the, on the each side.